Welcome to Approach the Bar with Dance Beat. In this edition, we are going to discuss what happened at the Dance Beat Dance Off, which occurred at the DBDC in Boston. Now, this is an interesting concept. We took the winners of the Amateur Latin and made them dance against the winners of the Amateur Ballroom. There were three sections that they had to dance in. The first minute, they battled against each other. The second uh, 45 seconds, they switched partners. Then each couple had a minute each to do whatever they wanted to do to their own music. Before the event, the couples came to the presidential suite and actually selected their numbers. The one with the lowest number got to pick the dance for the battle. They also got to pick the dance when they switched partners and they got to decide if they wanted to do their show dance first or second. All of these things can really, really affect the result. So let us see what actually happened in the Dance Beat Dance Off. So we did sell tickets for this episode. And as you can see, I have got an all-star panel. Please introduce yourselves. Darina. Edward. Alan. Diana. Colin. Marat. Let's see what they actually thought. So guys, three different sections. In the first section, Alexander and Olena picked the lowest number. So they got to pick what the dance was. The dance that they picked was Foxtrot. The guys they were dancing against, Alexander and Arena, then were supposed to dance Rumba. But the music lended itself to Foxtrot more. Marat, who did you think won the actual battle? Um, it's a very difficult question to answer because um, both couples showed uh, good quality in both dances, uh, both Roomba and Foxtrot. Uh, I can't really tell, tell the champion there. I just want, uh, from my side, using this opportunity to congratulate Chris and uh, you, Chris, and all your team for, for another edition of this interesting um, part of your event. Uh, keep keep uh, doing this it excites all the people all the audience and uh, just on a on a my personal me uh, message um, to maybe even parents that uh, let your kids dance both ballroom and latin and then uh, one discipline one style helps the other and these two couples are a good example of this so Marat, you didn't actually judge this event? No. Colin, did you judge this event? Uh, no, I did not. I was a, a spectator. Do you have an opinion on who you would have uh, marked first in the actual one minute battle? Mm, again, well, that's also difficult. I think it's, it's different to st on standing by the side than to judging it. And, and we all know that fact. Uh, but as a as a bystander, uh, I lean towards Latin, of course. Not that I favour that in, in that type of competition, but uh, I enjoyed the subtlety of the ballroom. It was not uh, in your face. It was it was a lot of detail, a lot of basic work within that, and I and I commend them for doing that and having the. Um, the strength and, and confidence in doing that. Um, in that aspect, I think their, the, the, their technique, their character, um, and their rhythm or their musical was excellent, both of them. So that was very difficult to divide that. Um, knowing, trying to put it on your own body in Latin, you appreciate that a little bit more. Uh, as strange as that may seem, I actually did ballroom. You didn't see it ever, probably, <laughs> but I did. Even in the Albert Hall, I did the, the, that in the ten dance. You know. Um, however, I, I appreciated those things, and I think between just at that part, it's very difficult to actually split them. 
So no. Okay. <laughs> now here's somebody, Diana. You actually did judge this. And who did you mark? Mm. Well, I actually marked Alexander and Irina. I and yeah, Marat's totally 100% correct. Ten dance is the way to go. I might be a little swayed on that, being my background, but you know, um, by the end of it all, uh, when they were dancing against each other, Rumba and Foxtrot, and then they had a little switcherooey, hanky panky business. One of the things that—that's what it was. <laughs> you know, that's when Rumba and Foxtrot got together, and mm. um, but. Uh, you know, I the the one thing that was evident, regardless of what style uh, Alexander and Arena were doing, is that they still had such a, an amazing uh, musicality and connection together. Whether they were doing a little bit of foxtrot or if they were doing rumba, and their presence as a couple was was just stronger. And I, you know, and to take nothing away from the other couple, I feel like. They're super sound and eloquent and all the things that they needed to be. It was just that little bit uh, more quiet and, and didn't just have that the showmanship and the and the substance that really was gonna grab everybody. Hey Alan, you were just watching this. Do you have an opinion on who should have won the battle? Yeah, so um, to me I, I didn't judge it, so um, but I did pay a lot of attention to watch it. They're two of the great couples in the U.S. So um, for me, it was a great format. I enjoyed watching it, but I did agree with uh, Diana's uh, summary uh, about the winners. Uh, they would be my winners had I been judging it. So I did not uh, judge this event, uh, but as a judge, I am judgmental and uh, I had an opinion. Um, and just on the quick aside, I do agree, uh, parents, get your kids to do 10 dance because it prepares them for the ultimate American style dancing in the future. <laughs> uh, but um, when I was watching it, I, I would have judged it like I judged theater arts. When I judged theater arts, I put down two scores. I put down a technical score and an artistic score, and then I bring that together. And sometimes the result is surprising. Uh, but uh, so I would have given it uh, to uh, Alexander and Reed Irina uh, based on that who did the Latin. Uh, based on if I took them both in their individual styles, both beautiful dancers, I think, uh, both couples, uh, but I would have given the edge to the Latin. Yes, I did judge that event, and um, the uh, adjudicators were picked, hand-picked from a hat. And I was lucky or unlucky, I don't know. But um, when I um, started judging, I was thinking, how do you com compare apples and oranges? So, because the apple was really great and the orange was as well, but the difference for me um, came when the apple became an orange and the orange became an apple because then, um, then for me, Alexander and Arena, <laughs> the apple crumbled, okay. So Alexander and Arena did better foxtrot for me than Alexander and Olena did a rumba. So this is what made it uh, clear to me. Yeah, for sure, that was perfectly said. So I just have to tell you what happened. Uh, the first dance was supposed to be a foxtrot that you could also dance rumba to. But the couples decided to dance foxtrot and rumba. So both couples actually switched styles in the battle. But as happened in the actual competition, Alexander and Irina did win the first section. Let us now move on and see who won or who our experts thought should have won the second section. 